Hello everyone, Amy Love here and I'm coming on today to work on another page of my uh, little mini fabric lace book. Um, we've got the basic page do uh, done. I haven't gone through and added the final embellishments. I kind of like to do the base of the page and then go back and do the embellishment. So if you'd like to see me doing these uh, pages I've already done, I will put the links in the description box and up here in the I cards. But today we're gonna work on this page. So let me get a clip to uh, hold all the fluff out of the way <laughs> while we work on it. Oh, this clip's almost not big enough. Okay, but it's gonna be a little bit in the way. So let me Hmm. I'll try up here and see what happens. Much better. Okay, so for this page, I am going to be using this beautiful image from the Divine Moments kit um, from Ulala La Vintage Treasures. And you can find a link to uh, Doreen's Etsy shop, her Facebook group, and her channel in uh, the description box of my video. Um, this is a little bigger than I want it to be, so I'm going to trim it down and try to get it as straight as I can. I'm not getting it too close to the actual angel because I like to put an edging around my images and I don't want to cover up the angel by doing that. But I want it to be smaller. So I like that. But I'm thinking I want to um, have something peeking out from underneath and I am thinking I'm gonna use this beautiful trim right here from Angel Dream Crafts. I just love it. I love it and I have used it a few times in this lace book because it's so stinking cute. So let me just cut that. I think I want that sticking out kind of far right because it's pretty it might as well be laying over and very pretty right there so I knew that clip was going to be in my way but that's okay I need the clip because I'm extra floofy as my projects tend to do <laughs> they tend to get extra floofy it's okay all right so now I'm gonna put this on the edge because I think that will be out of my way the most <clears throat> right there yes okay I have so much junk on my desk I don't even know what I did with the image okay here it is <laughs> all right that is really pretty do I want to put anything else under it maybe maybe some of this snippety snip stuff right here that I've been using in this book because it's so cute. Let me cut off a piece and see if that will do. Okay. So maybe something like that. Mm. I'm thinking about using this piece I made uh, using tool over the, one of the beautiful strips of <clears throat> the kit. It was, where do I have that somewhere? The rest of those strips? Yeah, they're like beautiful strips. So I just cut out the one I wanted to use and sewed some tool down on it. And I'm thinking it's going to go right there. So I don't really want to put anything under there. So I think I'm just going to add this little bit right up here in the corner and then go ahead and get my image down. Yep, just like that. Okay, so I printed out these images on the um, fabric printer sheets that you can get on Amazon. And I do have a link to my Amazon shop below if you want to check it out and these are in there because I use them all the time <laughs> absolutely love my little uh, fabric printer sheets so I'm just gonna put it right there and I'm not using felt behind this image um, I normally do do that 
but this book is extra thick because I used fusible fleece in between the pages, so I really just don't want to bulk it up any further by adding felt to my images, so I'm just not going to. And it's been working out all right. I mean, I was worried that these uh, lace patterns would show up so bad behind the image, but they're really not. I think it looks really nice. See, very, very cute. All right. Am I going to cover the side first, or am I going to build up this bottom? I think I want to add some more dangles to the bottom, but maybe just off of the image instead of all the way across the page. I don't know. It's so cute though. I think I'm going to do that. All right. So that's about right there. Use this beautiful double layered polka dot tool that I get from Angel Dream Crafts. So pretty. And there's so much of it on this book because I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Yes, that's adorable. But I think I also, if I can find in this pile, y'all, my desk though, <laughs> just every time I make a project, I think I want to add some more of this dangle also. Maybe just just a little piece of it, yes. How many can I fit on there? Three? Mm, I can just about get the four. Let's do the four. Okay. And there goes my phone ringing. Goodness gracious. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's see. Where were we? I'm still I'm on my coffee. Do you love this mug? Excuse the mess all over it. Got it at Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. I couldn't pass it up. It was so me. So I am enjoying that. And what else do I want to do here? Okay, so I think I want to add my little strip. I have no idea where it's off to. <laughs> you guys, oh, here it is. My little strip of paper with the tool I think would be so cute right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put that on right there. I love it. Okay, and then I might take a piece of the adorable Snippity Snip Lace and add it on top of this image right there, kind of like an edging trim. Isn't that cute? It's cute. Okay, let's do that. I like it. Hopefully I didn't just glue it to the clip. <laughs> and now I want to cover this raw edge. I like to frame the images. I don't like the raw edges showing. I thought about using rhinestone cup chain, but when you use rhinestone cup chain in a fabric book, it tends to catch on the other page and snag all up. So it works great on the cover, but not so great inside the book. So I think I'm going to skip the rhinestone cup chain and go straight for some flat back curls. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, let me dig through my hideous drawer <laughs> because it's just such a mess. Okay, but I found, I found what I, do I want. Big ones or little ones? I think those are a little big. What we're going for, let's use the smaller here we go. Here's a piece of the small. Yes. I think that's much nicer. And we'll put it right over the top. Yes. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, let me turn it this way. Oh, so sweet.
stinking cute. And I think I might put just a little bit covering this raw edge right here. So maybe just like two. That will make me happy. Okay. Yes to that. That is super, super cute. Look at how cute. All right. So there is all my ba base pages done. Um, the front pocket page, the first page, super cute. <laughs> the middle and then the final page and the final pocket page. So, um, I'm going to now put on the final embellishments of my little book and then I will come on and do a flip through. So I hope you are enjoying watching my process. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will have a link below to Ooh La La Vintage Treasures that has the beautiful digitals I'm using and also a link to Angel Dream Crafts. Kim on Etsy is where I got all of my beautiful laces and embellishments. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.